Hello, dear students. Let us discuss this interesting question. One of the child has asked this. Draw a line segment AB equal to 6 cm. Mark two points P and Q on it. Draw lines perpendicular to AB through P and Q. And the names of the lines are given P, R and Q, S. And it has been asked, what can you say about the lines P, R and Q, S? And uh, interestingly, we have to explore whether the lines are parallel and give the justification for the answer. Right. So let us do this construction. So step one is we will be drawing a line segment AB equal to 6 centimeter. So let me draw AB equal to 6 centimeter. So this is how I will be drawing AB equal to 6 centimeter. Now it is given that we have to mark two points P and Q on AB. So we can take points P and Q anywhere. So you can take P and Q. I've marked P and Q. Fine. Now it is saying draw lines perpendicular to AB passing through P and Q. Now you know how to draw the perpendicular. You have learned this in your previous class. Okay, tell me, can you make an angle of 90 degree at P and Q? Yes, you have to follow the same process. So just uh, construct an angle of 90 degrees at the point P. So simple it is. So we will be able to get PR. Similarly, uh, let me draw, draw PR first. So when we will join this, so this is how I've got PR. Okay. Now it is saying draw lines. Okay. I will extend it in the other direction as well and mark the arrow you know earlier it was a ray starting from p pr is the ray can be extended in one direction only but now it's a line okay can be extended in both the directions and interestingly this pr is perpendicular to ab now i have to make another line QS perpendicular to AB. See, I'm following the same process. Making an angle of 90 degree at point Q and joining this. Now I will be making it both sides. So here we have QS. Okay. So you have PR perpendicular to AB and QS perpendicular to AB. So PR is perpendicular to AB and QS is also perpendicular to AB. Now we have to see what kinds of lines these are. Now you tell me I'm marking here angle 1. What is the measure of this angle 1? Okay, it is 90 degrees. Good. Here I am marking angle 2. What is the measure of this angle 2? Yes, it is also 90 degrees. So angle 1 is 90 degrees. Angle 2 is 90 degrees. And if we consider the pair of lines PR and QS. Consider pair of lines... PR and QS and AB is transversal. And I'm writing here and transversal AB. 
what do you observe yes tell me fast what do you observe angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to 90 degrees and they are making a pair of corresponding angles and the corresponding angles are equal so angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to 90 degrees which is a pair of corresponding angles now you tell me one thing what are the sufficient conditions of uh, proving the two lines to be parallel yes tell me fast yes there are three conditions either we make corresponding angles as equal or we make alternate angles as equal like we could have taken 90 degree here also and could have said angle 1 is equal to angle 3 which is a pair of alternate interior angles and uh, alternate interior angles are equal so lines are parallel what is another way there is one more way of doing the same question so what would we could have done is we could have taken this angle as 90 degree angle 4 and angle 1 plus 4 that is uh, co sum of co interior angles is coming out to be 180 degrees so if co interior angles are supplementary again the lines are parallel so what are the three conditions sufficient conditions either you make corresponding angles equal like we have done here angle 1 is equal to angle 2 or we could have used angle 1 is equal to angle 3 that is alternate angles are equal or we could have done angle 1 plus angle 4 is 180 degrees so co interior angles are supplementary so the two lines are parallel that that comes under the part of justification because it is written here that justify so you can use any one of these three for justification so here i have used angle 1 is equal to angle 2 equal to 90 degrees which is a pair of corresponding angles therefore pr is parallel to qs i hope i have uh, solved your query all the best for your exam take care bye bye